The recent growth of soccer in the U.S. is undeniable. As DC United is now fielding a USL championship team in Loudoun United, it brings up the question, how sustainable is the growth of soccer in the lower leagues of the U.S.? The second division of U.S. soccer is the USL Championship, which hosts 36 teams, and the third division is the USL League One, which is host to 10 teams, with plans to expand to 24 by 2021. The USL Championship is full of talent, ranging from teenage prospects to seasoned pros with MLS experience, so it's not surprising to see it ranked similarly to the third division in England, the EFL League One. But that said, there are a lot of questions in how sustainable this league can be as the markets are smaller, the audiences are smaller, and the growth of the sport is so rapid that maybe it's outpacing itself as it continues to expand. And in 2019, 15 of the 36 USL Championship teams have an MLS affiliate or are owned by an MLS team. And in the USL League One, six out of 10 teams are owned or affiliated with an MLS club. So the growth of USL gives more domestic players opportunities to get professional experience before they try to make that jump to MLS, as opposed to trying to come straight out of college or youth academy and go straight into an MLS team. Having this value as an MLS club, it only makes sense to own, operate, and field the USL championship team, but with an expansion fee of $7 million, and of course, plenty of other logistics and financials to go into operating a whole separate team, professional team, there are a lot of questions of, is it worth it, is it not? And that's why you see plenty of MLS teams that don't have USL Championship or USL League One affiliates because of the costs associated, and maybe they don't see those players that they would be fielding playing out in their MLS team. So this is the kind of thing that's gonna take some time for the system to work itself out. But even with Loudoun United, we've seen DC United loan some players down, get some opportunities, and come in to quickly find themselves even playing in the starting lineup. For example, Donovan Pines. He's been solid with DC United and managed to get his first few professional starts with Loudoun United in USL Championship. We've recently seen the NASL stop play. Some of those teams have left the league and joined USL and are playing there now. And as professional soccer grows in America, there's going to be a period of feeling out just how big individual teams and individual markets can get. And that's something where the MLS investment in the lower leagues brings more sustainability because it's creating a funnel for youth to get more opportunities to play and as well as creating more general interest in professional soccer throughout the U.S., not just in the 28-30 MLS markets. This is the kind of thing that's going to take some time to play out to see just how sustainable and how much professional soccer can really grow within the U.S. in a variety of different markets. So with all that said, I'll be watching the USL Championship a lot. Of course, I'll be watching Loudoun United, but I want to hear from you guys too. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of USL and uh, what you think about professional soccer throughout the US.